In Perth, Western Australia, is what is probably the most remarkable performance space in the whole of Australia, if not the world. The date is the 9th of November 2016, and on this day, the Quarry Amphitheatre in the town of Cambridge celebrated its 30th anniversary. This story is about its history as a working quarry, its astounding transformation into an amphitheatre, and a celebration by those who have forged the venue into what it is today. The Quarry Amphitheatre is situated about five kilometres northwest of the centre of Perth. It's on Rebold Hill in the town of Cambridge. 500 acres of this area was granted to Henry Trigg, who was a recent immigrant and a builder. He built a lot of the early buildings in Perth and the surrounding areas and he saw the advantages of the Tamala limestone which comes very close to the surface here making it easy to quarry. Limestone was a very important building material for the early buildings in Perth. It was found before suitable supplies of clay were found to make bricks and therefore was the principal building material during the 1830s and right into the 1840s. The limestone was taken to Subiaco Station via Jollymont on a narrow gauge light railway made of wood. Limestone from this quarry ended up in many government buildings, most of them on Barrack Street, including Perth Town Hall, the old fire station, the original post office, now the state buildings, Trinity Church, the Royal Arcade and Newspaper House. The business was very successful but in 1847 he sold it to Walter Padbury. Padbury continued to quarry limestone here uh, right up until just about the outbreak of the First World War. At its peak the quarry employed over 50 men. The men worked in difficult conditions out in hot weather made even hotter when the lime kilns were roasting and so it would have been pretty unpleasant and probably not well paid. The quarry ceased working in 1906. The city of Perth then purchased the quarry in 1916. Of course before European settlement this area was a hunting ground for the Wajak Noongar people who are the traditional custodians of, of this area. Bold Park was declared a nature reserve and in 1986 Diana Waldron together with her architect husband hit on the idea of turning the quarry into an amphitheatre. Now in its 30th year it is well known throughout Perth for all of the entertainment that is put on here during the summer months. I direct Perth City Ballet and I suppose our main idea was that the major theatres were out of our reach financially. So we felt that if there was an amphitheatre, maybe the costs could come within our <laughs> region. One morning we uh, read the Post newspaper about someone wanting to use the old quarry next to the swimming pool. And so I said to Ken, my husband, who was an architect, well, why can't we have a quarry? And so he said, I know exactly where there's a quarry and we immediately knew what we wanted to do there. The actual construction of the quarry was his design and in order to have the amphitheatre constructed they obtained federal, Commonwealth federal funding um, for employment grants and they employed immigrant workers. Ken was a wonderful architect and his ideas were just great. They just worked. So right from the beginning his idea was not to have straight seating all the way across, you know. But one of the problems was he designed it to be built in brick. Then he came back to me and he said, Diana, we are going to make our own bricks. He designed the mould for the concrete blocks so that they would all interlink and you didn't need to have effectively a building licence as I understand it. But he was very ingenious. But the men that worked there 
became very proud of the project, as you can imagine, and they loved working on it. The amphitheatre opened on November the 9th, 1986. I think there must have been about eight different groups on that opening night, and that was wonderful. <laughs> Diana and Ken Waldron, whose brainchild this theatre was, were appointed caretakers for the first couple of years. City of Perth then appointed the Perth Theatre Trust to manage the venue. The town of Cambridge was created in 1994 and continued to contract the management of the Quarry Amphitheatre until 2009, when its management was taken in-house. Ballet wasn't big at that time, that was the beginning of dance in Western Australia. Perth City Ballet has performed here for over 30 years since the opening of this theatre. West Australian Ballet, the Western Australian's premier performing arts company, has performed here for 23 consecutive years. So I've been through four editions of Ballet at the Quarry and it's not just the venue but there is a, such an amazing atmosphere. I don't know, it's hard to explain but once when you are on stage at the Quarry you feel the, such a, a positive uh, vibe. You know? We started our ballet school back in 2013 and we were using the Quarry for several years for our concerts. I think what makes it unique is to have the crowd coming with their uh, picnic and with the family and friends uh, before the show, you hear the, the bottle <laughs> and, and, and the glasses and, and, and the cheers and the people having really lots of fun before the show and then also during the show. So, uh, I've never seen that at any places where I've been before. In the last 10 years, it has also become popular for weddings and corporate events. 20 to 30 of them per annum because of its unique and intimate setting. So our main season runs from November through to March. Um, on either side of that we have private events like weddings and those sort of things but being the prime sort of weather for an outdoor venue that's all our performances during that season. Town of Cambridge have upgraded some of the significant infrastructure including the stage, power, lighting towers and all digital lighting and audio equipment, as well as making the limestone walls safe. I, you know, I, I became a conservationist when I was a farmer. We moved from the Mallee up to northwest New South Wales, and that's when I began to realise just how diverse our bush is. And I think it's, it's, it's probably one of the most unique venues in the world, you know, uh, just because it's, you're completely surrounded by natural limestone walls. Um, and it's a unique place and I think it puts people in a great mood. Although designed for Bali, many popular national and international touring artists have performed in this space. The Whitlams, the Black Sorrows, John Williamson, James Morrison, Paul Kelly, the Ten Tenors, all of these have performed here many times. We're a, uh, a youth organisation, so our musicians are aged between uh, 14 and 25 and the idea is to uh, give young musicians the very best opportunities uh, through guest artists or playing at the very best venues around Perth and, and Australia when we get to tour. Yet yeah, it's, it's a very special 
very special venue um, and there's, there's nothing quite like it in Perth and I've never played in a venue like that so we really enjoy playing there. Firstly, probably the first show I did here was uh, my album launch back in 2007 but since then uh, I've appeared here in all sorts of formats. It's quite a large venue but it also has an, has an intimate um, aspect to it as well where you can really uh, connect easily with the, uh, with the crowd. We uh, used to do Australia Day shows at the quarry and um, they were super fun and we'd sing swing versions of Australian rock anthems and we did that for many, many years. Make a Difference Foundation have had annual concerts held at the quarry. Um, most of them have been around Valentine's Day. I'm normally very fortunate to get to host these Make a Difference concerts and, and meet these incredible uh, performers. And it's just incredible standing on that stage and seeing the audience and it's just like no other audience because they're so relaxed. They've often got a wine in hand uh, and just standing on stage and looking out, it's just an, an amazing view. The people that come here, um, the atmosphere gets to them and they, they're remarkably friendly and, and I just love the way my music fits that whole scene. It fits being surrounded by bush really. The outdoor setting is just beautiful. To see the music, hear the music and then look out over the, the bushland is, is amazing. Being able to see the kookaburras in the afternoon come in and while you're sound checking and, and, um, and once that sun goes down in summer it's beautiful. When you're on stage performing, you have these moments of just being unable to believe that you're in such a beautiful place, playing to such beautiful people. I think when you come at night, on a, on a warm summer's night, and you're sitting, listening to a performance, you find yourself gazing off into the distance and looking at the lights or looking at the trees or hearing a kookaburra. It's just uh, unique to Perth. As soon as the sun goes down, the lights go out, it's absolute magic. From a working limestone quarry to a unique performance space, the Quarry Amphitheatre has a rich and diverse history. Equally, it has an exciting and promising future, offering this boutique venue for all manner of different performances as it enters its next 30 years. The Quarry Amphitheatre offers professional and amateur productions to create an amazing program of events during the year in this wonderfully boutique and intimate space. Hey, 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 it's the Quarry's birthday. Happy birthday, Quarry. Hi, Kate Sobrano here, wishing you at the Quarry Amphitheatre a happy 30th anniversary. Good on you guys. I look forward to playing at your beautiful quarry soon. Happy anniversary, baby. Got you on my mind. So, well done, the quarry. 30 years.